In this video, I am going to show you how you can get onto first page, on the first page of eBay results. This is going to enhance your store. This is going to boost your store, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can add short codes to black listers templates or to any templates that you're creating yourself, okay? I'm gonna show you how to add the short codes, how to add meta, um, meta short codes or meta tags, um, and we can work towards getting onto first page results using Blacklister templates. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to log into Blacklister. Then you want to go over to settings. On underneath settings, you would have app settings. Click on app settings. Then you want to choose which store you're going to be listing in. So which store is connected to Blacklister or if you have both, it's up to you to which one you're going to be listing in. So we've got US and UK and so forth. So I'm going to use UK for this video. You choose your UK, wait for it to update. Then you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see description settings. Now underneath description settings, this is where we are going to choose our template. Choosing our template is the one that you're going to put onto your eBay store, okay? So you look over here, you choose which template you would like to use. Now you can use any template for any store, even though, you know, it says simple gray US. Let's do that, simple gray US, we want to, we can either preview. Oh, I have to unblock, pop up blocker, sorry. Unblock pop-up blocker, okay, preview template. This is what our template would look like in, you know, what the template would look like that we are going to be using. All right, so we wanted to just go back onto that one. Okay, so that is the simple grid, yes, but you want to make sure you save the changes. Save the changes, successfully saved, we want to refresh the page, make sure that it's all been taken in there. And then you want to, if you choose a different template, you know, we've got the simple gray template, you want to make sure that all your settings here are correct to say that it is a Great British Pound listing. Okay, we've got Great British Pound listing. If it Sometimes if you choose the US template, it will change your settings to US, okay? So you're shipping services to US. You want to make sure that it is on the UK one if you're going to be listing on the UK using a US template. Just make sure your settings are correct there should you have any errors. Now, everything looks all right here. We've got the um, template that we chose. Now, in Blacklist's templates, we've already got most of the shortcodes, so here it says shortcodes. Shortcodes can be used everywhere into the description, anywhere, okay? So we've already got most of the shortcodes that's in our template. That's ready-made templates, templates that Blacklisted team has made for you. So as you can see here, you've got the meta title, you've got meta title here, if you scroll down, you've got product description, and so forth. The only thing that you do not have in the ready-made templates is the brand. So we want to use the brand. Now, the reason I say this, because in our previous or in some of our training videos, we show you how to add the brand to your auto lister to use in Blacklister. How to, what to use in your brand, in your eBay listing, okay? But we want to use this short code within our templates as well. So our goal is to provide the best customer service for, and then we have the brand. Now the brand would consist of the first three to four keywords in our title, okay? So our brand that we put onto eBay, that we use in our short codes, that we have into our settings area, we would have the first three to four keywords that we chose as our brand, okay? So we've got the meta title. The reason we can't see this preview yet is because it's not been listed yet. The reason we can't see the meta title is because it's not been listed onto eBay yet. But 
we look here, document property, we've got all the meta titles in our ready-made and any template of Blacklister. If you were to make your own template, the meta tags would already be in the template already. So it's meta meta tags are things that eBay's like the 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 keywords that eBay would find with hidden within your listings, like in a photo. If you name your photo by your title, for example, or name your photo by keywords, the meta title tags would show eBay to rank that specific listings according to those meta tags according to those short codes okay so you don't want to mess with that really okay now the photo so this would be your main photo the first photo that would be showing on your photos in the ebay listing if you wanted to have a gallery image over here if you wanted to have this you can if you wanted to add the um gallery image into your very own template, you need to make sure that you use the HTML code that would be given to you into this area. So if you wanted your, if you didn't have a photo and you wanted to add a photo into this, you can't just go ahead and add that here. You can't just use, where's meta title? So meta title is the title for the photo that would be used within your photo you cannot just use gallery image we will give you an html code that you need to add you know if you were to add that here we would add the html code that i will give you below this video to put there okay so the html code that we provide needs to be put there not just the short code you can't just put the short code in here it will not work okay so that's just for information for if you have your very own template so the brand would be the short codes that we use we can add product description for control v we add payment policy for the brand name we could shipping policy for the brand name feedback for the brand name so the brand name is the first three to four keywords of the title so we can have the product description we can have the brand name of the product description you know so the short codes that we add in here will be what we get from our brand from our title that our our most used keywords, our important keywords that will be ranking our stop. So if we saved this changes, we save this changes, this would be set to your template. So this template will always have these details in there. Okay. If you don't save it, it will revert back to the original like that. So when you didn't add the brand things in there already. In case you have to save it, if you have any changes, save it. If you want it for all your listings, if it's a one time one, then you can do that as well. Okay, so now we are going to be listing an item using this, you know, advanced templates that we're, that we're going to get to add shortcuts in that's going to get us to our first page. I'm going to show you what happens when you use this template as is because I saved it like that. So now we want to click on auto list. Over here, you want to choose, because remember we're listing in the UK with this video in the UK. So you want to choose where you're going to be listing in. You want to add the product URL. So we find an item, we copy the URL, we paste it in here and then fetch. Okay, so that's now fetched it with the URL. You can, if you wanted to, only use the ASIN number, paste that in here, and it will fetch the details as well for you. Okay, so now the, the short code brand that we used will be the first, you know, 
keywords, the first few keywords. So let's say this is a lazy spa hot tub with LED lights. If you wanted to change it to hot tub with LED lights, let's have it like that. So you can have hot tub, take that, find it. We want to auto suggest the category garden patio hot tubs. That's perfect. We want to choose which photo would be our gallery image. So the image that would be in the description, if you wanted to use the, the uh, gallery image in your description, the one, the first photo on eBay that people will see, the photo that people will see. So let's use this one, for example. I want to upload all images. Successfully uploaded, fantastic. You can check that your details are correct. UK, United Kingdom. Now, you can see here the brand. The brand, the tags that we added, the short codes, this one, okay, this one, the short code. Remember, you can edit it. Every single part of Blacklister that you're in, you can keep editing to make it perfect, okay? So, hot tub with hot tub lazy spa for example if you wanted to have this as your brand you can edit it here even though it's not here you can if you wanted to so let's add this one to our title okay so we'll have hot tub lazy spa as our keywords hot tub lazy spa is our brand so this is how we choose the EPC or EIN. So as you can see here at NPN, make sure that all those details are correct. So if you were to add more words here, you need to remember to fix it in the NPN as well. Okay. So the ISIN specifics, we'll have the UPC, the brand, the NPN. Now the brand are the short codes that we need to add to any template if we use Blacklist's templates. And if you create your own templates, you want to use those short codes, the brand is the important one at this moment because it is our keywords our keywords that's going to rank our listing okay so we've got brand here we've got brand there we've got brand everywhere it needs to be put on so the brand because it's not been listed yet we're not going to see the preview of it so let's preview description template this is what it is going to look like when you have listed it when you used the short code brand See, you can see our goal is to provide the best customer service for hot tub lazy spa. Um, product description for hot tub lazy hot tub lazy spa, um, hot tub lazy spa of the product description, etc. etc. So that is what it would look like. It's just a preview, it's not actually listed yet. You've got the photo that you chose for the gallery photo, and that is what you want. I didn't put spa in there. If I added a word, so hot tub lazy spa, I need to make sure that I add the dash in there as well. Okay, so this is what it would look like if we added the shortcodes in there. We've got the preview, we know what it's going to look like, we know that we can change it in here, we can change it in the title over here. It only grabs the first three but you can add more if you wanted to, so hot tub lazy spa, but remember you have to change the MPN and add a dash in there as well. Then you want to scroll down, check for the repricer, and then list my item. When that's listed, we go check it out in ebay.co.uk, sorry. Okay, so this item has been listed now. It has the photo that you want. It's scroll down, scroll down. You can see Hot Tub Lazy Spa, which was our brand short code. Okay, so this short code has been put in everywhere here. Okay, so you can see Hot Tub Lazy Spa, Hot Tub Lazy Spa. Everywhere that we put the brand short code has now been added to our listing. Okay. So we know that we also have the meta tags in here, right? We have the meta tags in our listing that 
the blacklist already has in the templates that it already has in the well in your listing really so if you want to see what ebay can see so you right click inspect and here you can see all of the keywords that was used to list this item okay so hot tub lazy spa hot tub lazy spa hot tub lazy spa you can see hot tub lazy spa all the keywords that eBay sees is not visible in our for ourselves but we can put it in there it's already in there late hot tub lazy spa is under the brand and it has been added as a meta tag um, keyword this is to boost our eBay listing okay now we are going to see where we are on eBay search results okay so you want to go eBay.co.uk search for hot tub lazy spa so we scroll down scroll down find our listing on page one and here is our listing on page one of eBay results with our short code that we use in our template with our um, first three to four keywords used within our listing we have used it in our meta tags we've used it in our um, all over our listing we've we've added the short code into our template and for each and every listing that we do using blacklister using blacklister to list our items we can expect results on first page of eBay. this is the power of using blacklister guys go ahead create your short codes in your tap, uh, templates create make your own template if you wanted to use the shortcuts remember the meta tag are already in there for you you don't have to worry about that if you wanted to add a gallery image to your description you need to use the HTML code provided to you okay instead of the shortcode all right guys I will see you on the next video